On the plain of Essex, right next to the coast, lies Great Holland where locals rightly can boast of a beautiful rural church in a traditional seat, right off the track many tourists do beat. Down an old winding way, as many of them are, if you it visit, go on foot, it's better by far. Through Manor Road and into Church Lane, you'll enjoy the walk and perspective will gain of all saints laid firm above marshy surround. Timeless beauty in faith on this hallowed ground. Like a beacon of hope radiating heavenly light, this medieval church is a wondrous sight. Towering o'er the marshes, it can be seen from afar, beckoning to all like a bright shining star. On Sunday mornings, an enthusiastic team of bell ringers meet, a campanologist's dream, for in the proud perpendicular tower is hung, a set of bells of rare quality regularly rung. The peal of their song reverberates far and wide, and bids worshippers come now and enter inside, where ancient beam and stone for years have slept in Concord, whilst congregations the faith kept.
fine oak panels on the altar and choir pews. The stained glass windows, the colours under hues, depicting biblical events with such detailed care. These leaded windows the craftsman's mark bear. The little pipe organ has been lovingly tended and, with additional rank specification extended. The old tracker action remains, but hand blower updated, by bequests from a past patron kindly donated. Its beautiful tones have been continuously heard by churchgoers praising God in harmonious word. At the lower port, many couples, here for a while, have paused after making their vows then to smile for photographers and accepted best wishes offered by friends and relatives and later gifts proffered before setting off on life's journey and all that it brings, sealed by the signing of register and exchange of rings. And out in the churchyard, past souls laid to sleep would be happy to know that present efforts keep to their aspirations for the spirit divine with the breaking of bread and the drinking of wine and celebration of God's eternal picture he paints on the canvas of life in this church of all saints.